what's happening, what's going on. <laughs> um, right now I'm waiting for <clears throat> the bus that is scheduled to go uh, through here to Hilo. And uh, in Hilo, I think I'm going to probably walk to Rainbow Falls, maybe check out some cafes. And it's forecast to rain uh, like early afternoon, so I'll see uh, see if the weather actually holds out for me or if I spend, uh, spend time indoors uh, while I'm there, if it actually rains. So I'm just going to go walk around, check it out. Uh, where it is, there's a bike share. Uh, program in that city and also in Kona which I just learned about so I was in Kona Friday today's Sunday um, so I'm gonna go see if I can find this bike share uh, program because I loved using the bike share in Honolulu and uh, extra bonus is that the bike share program is free if you ride the bus and the bus is free <laughs> so pretty excited about that <laughs> gonna go uh, check it out and see how it is So, <laughs> yep, the uh, bus that I was waiting for does not run on Sundays. I uh, talked to the bus driver that eventually showed up. He was on a different route. And uh, as I was standing there talking to him and he was uh, calling dispatch, I finally did see on the schedule I had downloaded that the bus route that I had planned on using does not run on Sunday. So I was disappointed that I didn't catch that. And it was kind of like tucked in a little tiny box. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I did, did do some planning, but I can always do that a different day. But usually we only have the weekends free, so I've got to wait until next, probably Friday or Saturday even. Um, yeah, I'm learning that Usually, uh, businesses and buses and all that stuff seem to not really run on Sundays, so learning as I go. I get to, uh, you know, as I'm walking back to the farm, itch. So I'm walking back to the farm and uh, I get to just enjoy, you know, the nature that I've been driving past and riding past um, for the past couple of days, mainly because it's been raining and, um, wow, you can hear my breath. <laughs> so yeah, that is a quite significant elevation change from the town of Pahala to uh, the farm. So, I feel it. <laughs> I can definitely feel it. Wow. So, yeah, it is a significant elevation change. I might be able to overlay overlay on the screen kind of to show. I think I'll do that maybe like Google Maps or something, show the elevation change. But, yeah, it's... See, it doesn't look that steep. But, uh, you know, you feel it. And you're walking up a certain grade, you, you can tell. 
So I don't know what the grade is here, but I can definitely feel I'm going uphill. So but yeah, on that note, it's kind of interesting to uh, to think about <laughs> all the places I've walked. I'm just kind of like picturing them in my head, you know, like New York City, walking the busy sidewalks in New York City, walking through Chicago, uh, walking along the roads in New Zealand, uh, walking along, you know, walking through the roads of uh, Iceland. <laughs> Now here I am <laughs> walking along the road in a rural part of the big island of Hawaii. So yeah, just taking it all in. It's uh, crazy though to think that all of this is in the middle of like the giant Pacific Ocean. <laughs> like it's just, yeah, it's mind blowing to me. Like it feels big when you're on the island, like especially if you're walking, you know, I mean driving, it's like, you know, the island kind of doesn't feel that big but yeah it's just like you know it's just amazing to think about it also I want to mention uh, this is like the first time I've actually done like some serious walking ever since uh, uh, hurting my ankle so just trying to test it out and see how it feels and uh, actually I did do some walking the other day in Kona but yeah I really, oh look, litter. The only problem is I don't really have anywhere to put it. Uh, that's something I've noticed as well, is like I'm not really as motivated to pick up litter and all that stuff. I don't know, just kind of lost a little bit of Motivation, I guess. Maybe it's just been the rainy days. But yeah, I need to get uh, need to get cranking on making YouTube videos and uh, yeah, just do the homework, do the research. <laughs> you know, trying to trying to adopt a digital nomad lifestyle. In a way, like it works doing the World Packers and Work Exchange and all that stuff. But uh, you still do need some money. <laughs> I'm good for a while, but, you know, traveling to, you know, my plan is to travel to like countries like Japan, which uh, can be, I'm told expensive. I haven't experienced it myself. I'd like to experience it myself and make my, for my own opinions. But yeah, just, uh, you know, see if I can take advantage of different work exchanges and programs, volunteer abroad. Just want to try and do it all do as much as I can while I'm traveling this time. Um, so yeah, and document it, of course. <laughs> That's the thing, like, I've, you know, I've got all these different experiences, but I never, I have tons of pictures, but as far as making videos, it's just like, it just seemed like, you know, just kind of a, just too much work or, you know, you gotta record it all and, Sometimes it takes you out of actually just enjoying the moment. You know, you're worried about capturing it on video, but you know, I've always, I've just told myself, you know what, I'm gonna take a couple pictures or a lot of pictures. Decided I might as well start picking up litter since I'm walking back and it's easy to grab and I have the supplies on hand. So I just, it's funny to me that, you know, the people that live here or anywhere, uh, the same people that complain about litter are probably the same ones that also litter. Um, <clears throat> you know, especially the people that, yeah, it's like people that live here say they respect nature, please respect nature, and, you know, complain about people coming to the island and trashing it. But I'm in a pretty rural area where only residents would be going up and down this road and here's litter everywhere so 
just saying, you know, you people are often the problem too. But anyway, I'm just gonna quietly pick up trash and take pictures and yeah. <laughs> Try and improve this road a little bit, I guess. Well, not really the road. I'm not doing it for the road. I'm doing it for the nature around the road. The nature, uh, unfortunately, has to be near the road where humans go up and down and throw trash. But I'm doing it for the nature. 